What's up, good people? It's your boy C. Dot, Director of Operations and JTC in Abilene. And from boys to gentlemen, we on the move, baby. Y'all already know what time it is. It's Monday, so it's return to honor. For those of you who may see this video for the first time, return to honor is a series of encouragement videos for educators reminding us each Monday that we're returning to the honor of educating our future generation and the beautiful students that we get, um, that we're blessed to be around every day. Now, what I wanted to take time to do today is give you a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of a tool. We're gonna put something else in your toolbox that may be helpful to get you through the semester, to get you through um, the week, heck, to get you through today. And I want you to stay mindful of one um, element that's been so beneficial to me to be effective with other people. And that is seeking to understand before you ask to be understood. It sounds simple because it is. We all know how we would want to be treated in things. We all know uh, what frustrates us, uh, what angers us, what makes us happy, what makes us feel important, what makes us feel insignificant. The interesting part is, it's not that different around the board. A lot of the things that frustrate you frustrate other people as well. A lot of things that make you happy make other people happy as well. And we know there are no absolutes. It's always an exception to the rule. But for the most part, we do with what we can do the best. And so what we are asking today is for each teacher, each educator, to remember one thing. You have an advantage. You're somewhere that these kids have never been because you've been in school before. They've never been teachers before. They've never went through uh, student teaching. They've never been responsible for 900 students. They've never had these aspects of uh, pressure, so to speak, that you have the experience for. So what we can do that they may not have the capacity to do is to remember what it was like in high school, remember what it was like in middle school, remember what it was like in elementary. And what we can do is build off of those experiences to relate to the students. When I sit back and I seek to understand before I ask to be understood, I frame my question in an aspect asking, how would I want to be talked to? If I was a middle school student going through hormones and puberty and uh, you know popularity contests throughout the school trying to gain everybody's approval, how would I want to be approached about this mistake that I'm making? And when you take that element, sometimes <laughs> you're probably going to laugh because you're going to remember just how rough it was at that age and how silly it was once you got older. But you have the benefit of hindsight. These kids don't necessarily have that. So what I'm asking for today that can be extremely beneficial to us as an entire body is to seek to understand before you ask to be understood. And when we do that, we open the door for a level of communication that we rarely ever see. So that's what I'm excited about today. So go in, make an impact in your classroom. That impact in your classroom spills over into um, the entire school, spills over into the community, uh, ultimately begins to penetrate the home. So we're excited about the opportunity and we're returning to the honor of educating our students. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate the feedback that y'all have given. Um, share the videos. If you have a topic that you would like to get a video on, feel more than welcome to leave it in the comments or, or email me and we'll have all that information on the post. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.